Hope you're having a great day. And we're going to get right into a word of wisdom. Proverbs chapter 3, verse number, uh, first verse number 4. So shall thou have favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Now, having favor with God and man, this is something said of a few people. Uh, namely, one is uh, Jesus Christ. He grew in stature and had favor with God and man. Samuel the prophet had favor with God and man. Uh, there are mentioned a few times with major characters in the word of God. And here, again, it's saying you're going to have favor with God and man. So shall. So the verse before kind of gives you an insight on how the favor of God and man is going to come. Uh, that's verse number three. It says, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the tables of thine heart. And so the things that bring us favor with God and man, I believe we truly got to have favor, not just some people are like, well, I pray, I do all this stuff. I have favor with God. Well, that's great. But you also want favor with man. The Bible says that the apostles in the book of Acts, they have favor with all the people. We should have favor both with God and with man. And um, we do that, I believe here, it simply says, by having mercy and truth. Two seemingly opposites. Truth is the law. This is truth. This is where uh, the buck stops. It's the... Um, uh, the, the truth that comes and that you can't deny it, you can't hide from it, it's the truth. And then mercy, mercy says this is the truth, but I'm going to have mercy. It's a balance between these two things in life. You can't go through just this is a law, this is a law, this is a law, you're going to have problems. Neither can you just say, oh, let's just have mercy for every situation, you're going to have problems. But when you live with a balance of mercy and truth, you are going to have favor with God and with man. I hope you have a great day. God bless you and live in wisdom.